welcome back. And I want to announce a new series I have going on, which is how much is your clarinet worth? I get a lot of submissions of what type of clarinet this is and also how much is it worth. And I usually just review what the clarinet is, the model, brand, information about it. But also people always ask how much is it worth? So I'm going to look at how much certain clarinets are worth of submissions. So if you have a clarinet that you want to know how much it's worth, please submit pictures to it. Send me an email at knowledge at gmail.com. I'll put that in the link also in the description. And we'll take a look at how, how much it's worth in today's open market. We'll also compare briefly the open market versus a more closed market like a retail store or even buying an instrument from your uh, private teacher. Those prices can vary greatly because, of course, a retail store can offer warranty and they may refurbish it too, whereas an open market like eBay is what we're going to kind of look at. We're going to look at eBay prices and give you an approximation. So years ago, actually decades ago, I started this one web page of what the value is of a clarinet. We're going to review that real quickly here. I was always getting questions from people because they thought their beloved clarinet from years past was worth more than the, what they bought it for. Or, I had this many times, they found a clarinet in a garage sale or some antique store or something, and they bought it for, you know, $10, $25. And they thought, because they didn't know what it was, it must have been worth thousands of dollars. You know, it's really difficult to talk to some of these people because they really, really want to be worth a lot of money because they think they're lucky and they found a deal of a lifetime. Put in here anything other than like professional buffets or, you know, like summer CTs and things like that. They really decrease in value over time. They stay steady. They may increase in value from what you originally bought them for, but they're like a car. You drive it off the deal a lot and it loses half its value before you get a quarter mile down the street. That's just kind of the way it is. You know, and you got to understand is clarinets are constantly being manufactured. For instance, you bought an E11 20 years ago or more. They're still making them today. Of course, they've improved or maybe not improved depending upon your perspective. But it doesn't matter. There's millions of them out there. There's nothing that changes yours from another one. One of the other issues I have is people have been told by other people with these usually I remember this magical blue books that the clarinet was worth so much more than what they were thought it was. And I gave them the value of what I thought it was, and they're really perplexed. The trouble is they'll be given an insurable value, not the actual as-is value in an open market. And that's one of the big issues here. If you're going to insure your clarinet for theft, you can have it insured for replaceable value for what it is or the current similar model so if you bought an e11 30 years ago for say 300 dollars, today a new one of those is going to cost more or if you have insurance for replaceable value it's going to be worth what it's worth in the open market and you got to be careful when you go for valuations and want to get assessments on its valuations is what type of number they're actually giving you so here's an example I have here. A customer asked me about the value of their Noble A40 clarinet. I told them based on eBay about $6,220. And this was years ago now. And they told her someone told her it was worth $1,200. So she was shocked. And I mentioned the $1,200 is the insurable value of the clarinet. If you need to replace the brand new one, and basically stolen basically, you would insure it for $1,200. But you're not going to sell it for $1,200. That's the whole thing. And for instance, the price you're going to sell it for and the price of a an independent seller is not going to give a warranty of it. They're not going to give a 30-day return. They're not going to do a 90-day free adjustment or one year free adjustment like a retail store would do. So you have to be careful about where you get your numbers from. So we basically have what's called an open market, which is basically an auction like eBay or similar locations um, where you'll find out what someone's willing to pay for. Now, on eBay, in an auction, you may have two people uh, bidding for the clarinet. Or if you get it in the before school starts or near Christmas, you may have, say, 10 people bidding for it and may have different prices. So it varies, and it's very cyclical. 
Uh, as an example, a closed market, a teacher selling to a student, they may ask for more money because the student will bring back a clear and say something's wrong with it and the teacher may fix it for free sometimes. So different valuation there. And the teacher may have gotten it repaired and so they're selling it with some type of warranty with it. In online stores next, they'll probably bought the instrument in, in an open market, add a significant value like total refurbishment, and will also give service and warranties and trial periods. That's something you don't usually get in an open market with an auction. You know, then you have a retail store. They have higher overhead and they have a store you can come in, you can play test them and select the one that you like. You're not going to get that in an open market auction. You know, then, of course, you have your insurable value. So prices vary depending upon what type of market you're in and everything like that. Now, these prices down here are old prices I have. This is strictly standard Bohm clarinet information. The biggest problem with instruments is if there was ever a repair on the instrument, that decreases its value. You'll find out some people will say, hey, it's fixed. It's a tool. It works perfectly but the trouble is think about a car you go to a dealership you have a car that's in pristine condition been garage kept not a scratch on it and you have another car that was t-boned and slammed against a power pole but it was completely repaired repainted and it looks like it's new it looks like it's new it may upon driving it feel like it's new upon first driving but it's not its value is greatly decreased because of that repair and for buyers re repairs me a lot if you were to sell me an instrument and saw it had a crack repair or had a crack on it at least cut the price in half that's just kind of the way it is because now i'm gonna i'm gonna have to fix that repair of course put money into it so you gotta be careful so for instance here's a couple of charts i did in the past you can see these these are old charts and i was doing it before this too and I broke it down like this is a two. So this first one is from 2011. So this first one's from 2011. And you can see here, you know, I was looking at prices across the industry online. And like Buffet R13 was eight to $1,400. Uh, online store is $1,600 plus. Retail store is $2,200 plus. Insurable but value at that point was $2,800. So it gives you an idea right there. You know, you know, uh, LeBlanc LL as an example it was three hundred fifty, seven hundred online store retail store, thousand dollars in Sherbro value, twelve hundred. So it depends upon the type of market that's selling it. Once again, you know, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. I had even more on here. I had, um, and I, I noticed a difference before of early R13s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. And there was variations of prices of nowadays, I basically see on average like $200 price difference between 50s and 60s and 70s. You know, because the newer the instrument, the more value it is to students. And now nowadays, it's such a wide variety of instruments out there. It's kind of um, a flood of clarinets in the marketplace. But you can see here, R13s, 800, 1400 auction online stores 1200 retail stores 1500 plus charitable value 2800 plus you know so everything varies over time and once again depending upon how it's being sold can greatly affect its price and its condition condition is everything with clarinets also would you buy one with nice clean shiny keys or buy one with the keys are all black dirty and icky you know is do you, would you pay differently for them it's all valuation of Condition, condition, condition that helps his valuation. But stay tuned for new episodes of How Much Is This Clarinet Worth? And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.